Hello, uh, hey, this is Vishnu from Chatwood. So today we are going to take a look at how to install Chatwood on Kubernetes using Helm. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is the uh, repository for Ch Helm jar. So So there are some prerequisites before um, so you need to have a Kubernetes cluster and then you need to have Helm installed locally. So if you do not have Helm, you can get it from helm.sh. And you need to have a Kubernetes cluster. Yeah, as you can see my cluster is empty. I mean, there are no ports running. So let's get started. So installation is actually pretty simple. Like you only need to do these two simple steps. First you need to add the repository and then you can install Chatwood. Yeah, uh, I already added this, so that's why this uh, message. So if you can can take a look at all the repositories that you added by this command. Yeah. So chatwood is there. So next step, you can install chatwood using this command. So if you uh, just do the bare minimum Helm install. Um, Helm will use all the default values for all the environment variables. So most of the time you would need to override uh, some variables. So you can do that by two ways. You can use the minus minus set sub command or you can use the minus f command and pass a values file. So I'm going to I'm going to override one of the variables like the secret key. So let me generate a random secret. Okay, so we are going to install um, Chatwood. This is the release name, so you can you can name this as anything you want. So I'm going to name my Helm release as Chatwood itself, and then I'm going to overwrite the secret key base as this one. On the right side, you can see I'm doing a kubectl get all. Mm. can see uh, the containers are slowly coming up uh, this Postgres, Postgres is coming up Redis cluster is coming up and the chatwood web uh, and the sidekick containers are also coming up so this will take a couple of minutes so meanwhile let's take a look at the environment variable section so this chart uh, deploys Redis and Postgres together. I mean, uh, so if you are if you have an externally managed Postgres and Redis cluster, you can uh, disable uh, Postgres and Redis from being dis deployed in the cluster, and and you can use your external managed services. 
So set this variable to false and then provide the required environment variables. Similar stuff for Redis. For all the other environment variables, you can. Yeah, so Helm release is complete. Uh, just a second, you can take a look at this one. Helm list, so you can see, you know, this is this thread, and then we can watch. So now we are waiting for an external IP uh, for our chatwood service. So you can watch the status using this command kubectl get svc minus w chatwood. Yeah, while it is coming up, let's take a look at the. So there are a lot of other environment variables. So if you want to know more about them, you can go to this environment variable section where uh, this is explained in detail. So you can take a look at all those. Other than that, let's wait for this IP to be assigned. So you can find one, one more additional thing you can find chat road and artifact hub. Uh, this is the central repository for Kubernetes packages so, or Helm packages. So, yeah, we can find chatwood here as well. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, we now have an IP for our chatwood service. So coming up in a different screen Okay, so here you go, your brand new chatbot instance set from Kubernetes. I'm going to sign up. So here you go, your brand new chatwood instance set from Kubernetes. <laughs> yeah, there's so as you can see. This is the latest version of Chatwood, uh, which is now being served from a container, which we installed via Helm. So yeah, that's all.